Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got this video from Daniel here. I'll, uh, I'll play it real quick and so you can watch it. Hey, John. What's up? I love your uh, content. Uh, my question is, I want to learn programming to get a bit of a better job. Um, my experience is that I uh, took one like introductory programming class in school. Uh, it was pretty good, but I feel like I didn't learn as much as I could have learned from it. Uh, so what I so I'm pretty interested in programming. So one thing I did was uh, open MIT OpenCourseWare, and I found the problems like really, 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 really hard. So I kind of got bogged down in um, in some of them. It took me like a week to solve some of them. Some of them I never could really solve, and which I think is pretty representative of like a school kind of thing because I think you'd have uh, about a week to do the homework. Um, so what I think is, um, is that just because it's like MIT is really, really hard or CS is like really hard? And uh, is there value in struggling through these problems? Or should my goal just be to learn as much of the language as possible? Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I just kind of want to bit a bit better job. I don't really plan on doing much with my undergraduate degree. Pretty good at teaching myself, but I just want to know uh, what you think about this. Okay, that's it. Thanks for answering. So, Daniel, uh, first of all, I think, uh, <laughs> again, it's kind of funny. Your video is similar to the previous video that, that I answered, uh, the video, video question so uh, about, about teaching yourself. But I'm going to answer this a little bit differently because you're asking a little bit of a different question. So, anyway, in your situation... Um, first of all, good on you that you're you're doing this on your own and you're 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 taking the initiative to learn yourself. Uh, it, it's funny. It, it's interesting to just to see that some of the videos that I've gotten from from people that uh, that are are self self educators that are taking initiative themselves, and that's awesome that you are, and it just shows that you know people that are are willing to take action are actually willing to send me a video as well. So, I mean, it's, you know, you, those those attributes seem to go together. So, that's cool. That's awesome. Uh, as far as, like, doing the the MIT, uh, the, these, these hard problems, I want to talk about, the way that I want to answer your question is I want to talk about the purpose of education. Because I think if you understand really what the purpose of education is, then it'll, it'll answer your question. So, and, and this might seem like a silly thing to talk about, right? What is the purpose of education? Well, most people don't actually know, right? We And the problem is we, we think we need to get educated. We need to learn things, but we don't we don't really think about why. Like, you know, you go to... And it, it's the problem is because you go to school, right? You go to regular school and then you go to college and it's to get an education as if an education is a thing right that but but that's not really the the purpose right like for example everything that we learn should have a purpose you learn math so that you can use it right you learn how to read because you need to read in life you know some of the things you learn don't have a purpose and that's why a lot of times school seems silly to a lot of people and they're not interested because they don't see the purpose and that, that that's the whole thing it's like the reason why you're learning anything, the reason why you're working on problems, or the reason why you're learning computer science, the reason why you're learning programming or programming language, or anything that you learn, is so that you can do something, right? Because, or, or, or it could be just for fun, for trivial <laughs> purposes, but for the most part, we're learning to be able to do something, right? That's why we have education, that's why we learn things. And when you think about it that way, you know, it, it's, it, it's, it's a shift because, that 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 determines how you learn and what's valuable to learn because there's a lot of people that just try to absorb knowledge right they just try to get all these facts and information and and learn as much as possible but they don't have any application to this and if you don't have an application to to learning then the learning isn't going to be valuable to you and it's not going to stick either right uh, if you've if you haven't seen, I've got a I've got a course called Ten Steps to Learn Anything Quickly, and in that course, I show you how to learn something. And one of the first things that I do with that course is I talk about 
defining the scope, well, like what are you learning and why? And, and you know, in getting that down to a small scope so that you can focus on, you, I want to learn this thing so I can do this thing. And that's the key. So, so again, to answer your question really comes down to the, the point of what are you trying to do? Now, the, and, and you say, is there value in, in solving these hard problems? Yes. There is. Is there value in, in just learning as much as possible about the language? Yes. There's value in, in either of those things, provided that those are bringing you down the path of, of something that is going to lead to some action. To be able to build software is probably what you want to be able to do, right? And there's different applications of that. What kind of software are you going to build? You know, and, and, and what kind of problems you be, need to be able to solve? If you learn how to solve hard programming problems, Right. That's probably that's something that conceivably that you're going to have to do on a job. And if you learn how to do that and and all the things that you need to know in order to do that, that's probably going to be very valuable. I think if you're working through these MIT problems, right, and you're doing it with the right mindset, and you're saying, look, here's this really hard problem. I don't know how to solve this. What do I not know that I need to know in order to be able to solve these problems? And and the reason why I would ask this question is because I think that in the real world, in work environments, I'm going to have similar problems like this that I'll need to be able to solve to be a good programmer or even just to pass an interview. Heck, that could be a good reason to learn something is to pass an interview. If you want to interview at Microsoft or Google or Apple and they're going to ask all kinds of crazy hard problems that, that you might not actually deal with in the real world. But that, that would be a reason. But by doing those really hard problems, it's going to force you to figure out what you don't know. And then that's going to tell you what you need to learn in order. To, and then there's a reason, right? So now you can go and you can start from this hard problem and say, oh, let me dissect this. What are the things that I don't know? Oh, I don't, I don't know about this data structure. I don't know about this. I don't understand this thing. So I'm going to look it up. I'm going to learn this thing. And it's going to get you, you're going to find the tools that you need in order to build that education yourself. So, uh, so again, so I think that that would help you in that case, but solving problems for the sake of solving problems doesn't really, really do anything. You know, you, you, what skill are you trying to develop? What, what are you trying to learn so that you can do something? Uh, again, same thing with learning all the syntax of programming language. That's not going to be as useful to you as putting it into application. And one good way to do that is to just like those problems, right? You're doing those MIT problems and you're saying, okay, I have to, you know, it's taking you a week to solve this. So you're probably having to figure out and learn a bunch of stuff in order to be able to solve this thing. That's good. So the same thing, don't just try to like learn all the syntax of a language. Say, I'm going to try and build this app or I'm trying to build this thing. What, what, how much of the language or what syntax do I need to know in order to be able to do this? And that's going to, that's going to make it stick in your head and that's going to give you some value to, to what you're learning. So again, I, you know, I think the key thing here is just to make sure that you're learning for the right reasons and you understand that. Once you understand that, once you say, look, Every time I learn something, it's so I can do something. It enables me, empowers me, enables me to do a thing. It doesn't just store information in my head that maybe I'll, I'll, I'll use on Jeopardy someday. Instead, it enables me to do something. I'm learning this for a specific reason so I can apply this and, and have a, an action, a desired result. That's going to affect the way that you learn and that's going to uh, th that's going to answer a lot of these questions for you. So anyway, I hope that helps you. Uh, thanks for submitting your video and, and continue on your path. Sounds like you're on the right path. Uh, just make sure that you have a focus. And, and like I said, if you have a goal in mind of what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish, that's going to guide your learning and that's going to get you where you want to be. So uh, if you've got a video for me, question for me, you can send me a video at john at simpleprogrammer.com. And if you like these, this video format, definitely let me know with a thumbs up or a comment and, uh, and subscribe to the channel. Take care.